Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss directed and undirected graphs. So this is useful in graph theory, in subjects like social information networks and a lot more in your computer science engineering. Okay, so we are going to discuss directed and undirected graphs. First let us discuss what an undirected graph is. An undirected graph is basically a graph in which the nodes are connected but the no the edges between the nodes do not have any direction okay so let us say this is the graph that we have and the nodes are connected but they do not have uh, the the edges between the nodes do not have any direction so this can represent uh, let's say friends so let's say one and two are friends two and three are friends 3 and 4 are friends, 1 and 4 are friends, and 2 and 4 are friends, right? So this is, this kind of undirected graphs, one example that they can represent is friends. So there's no direction in friendship, right? 1 and 2 are friends, like 2 is 1's friend and 1 is 2's friend. So 1 and 2 are friends with each other. So there's no direction here and that is why we can use an undirected graph to represent friendships. Now, we will discuss, we will first draw the edge list. Okay, uh, we will make the edge list. It's basically just the one that we've seen here. But let us go ahead and do it here in the form of a table. Okay, so we have vertex 1 and vertex 2. So we have 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 1, 4 and 2, 4. This is called the edge list, okay, because it is the list of edges that are there in our graph. Now, let us look at what an adjacency matrix is. Adjacency matrix is basically the mathematical representation of the graph. So, the graph here that we have is pictorially represented, right? So, when the graph is pictorially represented, we can't use it, we can't actually use it in calculations or how are we going to uh, go further with the uh, processing of the graph. So for that, we need to represent the graph mathematically, right? So the mathematical representation or the matrix representation of this graph is known as the adjacency matrix. So now let us look at how we can draw this or make this mat adjacency matrix. So adjacency matrix is nothing but the list of edges or let's say it is nothing but the vertex wise vertex wise uh, it's nothing but the vertex wise whether the edge is present there or not. Okay. So if this is your table, you have one and one is nothing. The this is we just put hyphens here because there's no edge from one to one here, right? So between one and two is there an edge? Yes, there is an edge. So you put a one there. Two and one also same. One and three is there an edge? No. So you put a zero. One and four is there an edge? Yes. Then two and three is there an edge? Yes. 2 and 4 is there an edge? Yes. Then 3 and 2 is there an edge? Yes. So one more important thing here is uh, 1 and 3, sorry. So 1 and 3 does not have an edge. This is 1 and 3. Sorry. So 1 and 3 does not have an edge. 2 and 3 has an edge? Yes. 4 and 1 has an edge. 4 and 3 has an edge. 4 and 2 also has an edge. And 3 and 4 also has an edge. So another important thing to note here is that when you have directed graphs, sorry, when you have undirected graphs, the adjacency matrix is a symmetric matrix. Right. So if you see 1, 1, 1 is there here. Here also 1 is there. 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So basically this matrix that we have is, is a symmetric matrix, right? 
so in in the adjacency matrix of an undirected graph is always symmetric this is one thing that you need to note down okay so this is what adjacency matrix is we will uh, in the further videos we will be looking at how we use adjacency matrix and where we use it so but for now this much information is enough now let us look at the now let us look at the directed graphs part okay so if we go ahead and look at the directed graphs directed graphs are basically the graphs where the edges between the nodes have directions right so when the edges between the graphs have directions what happens is uh it represents a uh, the relation the direction of the relation so let us say that uh this graph represents the calls that are being made so 1 is calling 2 1 is also calling 3 4 is calling 3 2 is calling 3 and 2 is calling 4 so this is the basic uh let's uh basic understanding or say one example of a directed graph now the edge list remains the same because the the edges that are there i mean the the way of writing the edges of a directed and an undirected graph remains the same because it is just the edge in the edge list we do not have a direction so the edge list kind of remains the same 1 2 2 4 4 3 2 3 and 1 3 so the edge list kind of remains the same but the adjacency matrix changes the adjacency matrix now will not be symmetric anymore right so what we do here is the way of writing it is still the same okay 1234 okay now do we have 1 and 1 so these will be hyphens or not applicables okay so does 1 and 2 have an edge yes 1 and 3 has an edge yes 1 and 4 has an edge no 2 and 1 has an edge no you get that we are the directions from 1 to 2 right so between for 1 and 2 you put the 1 but from 2 and 1 you put 0 similarly if you finish this matrix what you're going to get is 1 1 1 One one zero one one. As you can see, oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. So one one zero one zero 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 zero. Okay, as you can see, it is not a symmetric matrix anymore, but it is an unsymmetric matrix. Now let us just check this once again. One and two is one. One and three is one. One and four is zero. Two and one is zero. Two and three is one. Two and four is one. Three and one is zero. Three and two is also zero. Three and four is also zero. Four and one is zero. Four and two is zero. Four and three is one. So basically, this is the adjacency matrix, right? And this we have wrote it in the form of a table. The same thing if we write it in the form of an actual matrix, that would look like one, sorry, zero, one, one, zero, 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 one, one. Zero 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 one zero. This is what this is how the adjacency matrix will look like. Okay, I hope that's clear. In the next video, we will be looking at how we can use adjacency matrix matrices in different calculations and so on. So this is a video in the course for social 
information networks okay thank you for watching if you like this video please do like share and subscribe thank you for watching